recently got a call from a composer friend of mine who's asking some tips on coloring events on their main Cubase project window. Colors can be really engaging and a great way to organize your parts visually so that they don't look boring and gray like this. To color an individual part, one of the handy tricks is to just go in through the track inspector, the top option, and you'll see this little icon here. And then once you click there, you could actually colorize that track. Now, once that track is colorized, it, that track's color will automatically reflect into the mix console as well. So if I wanted to change the color for this channel, I could just simply add that color and see that reflected. Many people will take different tracks and have all of their drums one color, all their vocals another color, etc. Now there's some preferences to be aware of. So if you go to the preferences and under event display to tracks, there's different color modes here. So we could use a default track color, which is probably going to be the boring, uh, unengaging gray. Or we could use the previous track color, next track color. So if I wanted to come here and, and use the next track color, I could just simply come directly here, set that. And then as I add an audio track, we can see that it's automatically going to be added with the next color. So we'll undo that. So this is an easy way of doing individual parts and have it reflect in the mix console. What if we wanted to create our own colors and we could actually do this from our color tool on the main project window here. So we could select a color tool. If we hold down the mouse button, click again, we could see our 16 default colors become available. If I wanted to come here, I could click on the project colors. And if I wanted to create my own colors, I could do that. So if I wanted to append a new color and then double click, we could pull up our color wheel and just simply create our own colors as we see fit so that we could modify and change the program to our personal liking. If I wanted to also increase the intensity or decrease the intensity, of different colors. We could do that for all the colors directly from within the options as well. If I wanted to color multiple tracks simultaneously, I could select one track, select the last track while holding down the shift key and now select my color tool. And now I could just color all of my parts at once. Now, some people may want to have different parts of the arrangement, like a verse, a chorus, and another verse as separate colors as well. So I can have my track colors, but the events can also have their own colors. So if with my color tool, I'm going to select my chorus here. And then every time I wanted the chorus to come in, I want it to be that color. So this way, individual parts of the arrangement can also be colorized. I could have colors for the tracks as well as the ability to customize my own colors. So instead of using the same boring gray color scheme or lack of color scheme, take a look at some of the advantages of optimizing your display for your creative needs with the color options on the project window. If you like this video, please feel free to click on a like button and subscribe to the channel.